Welcome to Walker's Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker, bringing you a review of this week's stock market. On Monday, markets were encouraged when House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said that Congress is still trying to pass an additional coronavirus aid package. The financial and energy sectors did particularly well, with market gains broadly based rather than limited to just tech stocks. On Tuesday, the Case-Shiller Home Price Index for July rose six-tenths of a percent, and consumer confidence for September shot up 15.5 points to 101.8. However, markets sank as New York City reported a 3.25% positive test rate for COVID-19, its highest level since early June. On Wednesday, the ADP Employment Report for September estimated private payroll job growth of 749,000 and a third estimate of the second quarter GDP came in at minus 31.4%. The pending home sales index for August rose 8.8%, and the EIA Petroleum Status Report for the week ending September 25th saw crude oil inventory fall 2 million barrels. For the third quarter, the S&P 500 gained 8.5%, and the Dow Industrials gained 7.6%, while the Nasdaq Composite surged 11%. On Thursday, jobless claims for the week ending September 26th saw initial claims decrease 36,000 to 837,000, while personal income for August declined 2.7% and spending rose 1%. The PCE price index increased 0.3%. The ISM manufacturing index for September declined six-tenths of a point to 55.4, and construction spending for August rose 1.4%. On Friday, non-farm payrolls for September rose 661,000, lower than expectations of almost 900,000. The unemployment rate fell to 7.9%, better than expectations. Average hourly earnings rose a tenth of a percent. Consumer sentiment for September rose 1.5 points to 80.4, and factory orders for August rose 7 tenths of a percent. President Trump tweeted that he and his wife tested positive for COVID-19 and markets opened lower on the news. This is Walker's Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker, and I'll see you again next week.